So what does it look like running a real estate media business on a daily basis? I got a few different things going on today. I'm gonna to take you guys along with me. I can't guarantee it's gonna be overly exciting, but it will be the truth. So, let's get into it. Starting the day off at the office. Just gonna be here for a little bit, get some computer work done, have a quick meeting, and uh, then we're gonna head off to a shoot. I personally only have one shoot today. The team has a few different shoots. My focus is honestly just on growth, trying to make sure that the team is busy, trying to make sure that we're on the right path. All right, guys, we are now going to our first and only shoot of the day. And I got all my gear here. So today we're mainly using this guy. This is an A7 IV with a 14 to 24 Sigma on it. We got the Mavic 2 Pro with the nice controller. And uh, that's about it. Sometimes we'll use uh, the 24 to 70 for just some tight, fun shots. But I think today is mainly just some wide 14 to 24 shots. The 24 millimeter does pretty good though. Don't don't underestimate it. But we got a 30 minute drive. Let's go get it. All right guys, we're gonna do a little voiceover on this one right here. So we just got into the house and I am getting everything set up with the agent. We're turning on all the lights, getting ready to take some photos and this is the very first shot. So start with the foyer. It's easy to start right in the beginning of the house and work your way through. I'm going over and taking another angle because it's kind of a bigger foyer and I wanted to be able to show into that next space. And then Brian, the agent here is like, hey, I just moved the car out of the garage. Can you maybe take a picture of the garage and then I'll move the car back in so that you can't see it out the windows. He made a good point. So we went ahead and did that. So I went and took those photos real quick and then popped back into the house. So I took this photo real wide showing the whole living room. And then I wanted to go ahead and do one a little bit closer just over the couch right there. So took that photo, thought that looked really good. And then Brian, the funny man that he is, comes in and says, hey, are you recording? And uh, I was like, yeah, pick it up. So he picks it up. Okay. You want to shoot some video footage today? Yeah. Makes a couple the comments. Scenes. This is what it's like it's to be in the world. World class. <laughs> it was just funny. But it's good to, like, just show interacting with clients. And, you know, this is uh, a customer service-based business. you got to be able to interact with people real well, not just take good photos. Um, right here, I'm moving the chairs a little bit. The biggest reason is because I'm trying to line up the camera with the fan uh, and also be center with the furniture. So to do that, I just wanted to move the chair over a little bit, move over um, the little stand next to it a little bit and just get the perfect shot. It's something that takes you, you know, 15 seconds to do, but it really does make a pretty big difference. You can see the photos right here. Came out pretty nicely. All right, so jumping forward from there, we're just setting up the kitchen a little bit more, uh, made sure the bar stools were perfectly lined up, made sure that the bases of them were all in the same grout line, made sure the height was all the same, just making sure that they're perfect photos. That's really about all the behind the scenes I got. Um, I was trying to get a little bit more, but that's it for this voiceover. So let's get back into the video. All right, we just wrapped up that shoot. Took one hour and four minutes to do both photo and drone. I was really hoping to get some more actual behind the scenes with you guys, but I did what I could. Had the homeowner there, had the agent there. Cool guy, but still it's like, I'm in there to do a job, not just record some behind the scenes. You know what I mean? But she went well. We're gonna go to the office. We're gonna upload all this footage, get it sent off to the editors. He also added on a quick little uh, aerial video. Nice little add on uh, for, another 150 bucks but yeah good shoot back to the office we'll see you guys there 
Yo. Yo. Uh, homie. What are you doing? You just had a shoot, right? Yeah. How was it? It was good. It was quick. It was with Brenda, Merritt Island. Oh, that's right. Uh, super tiny house. It was empty. Yeah, because it's a rental, I believe. I'm recording oh, our conversation. <laughs> Say what up, YouTube? Are you going up, YouTube? <laughs> hey, look at that. Let me get that Rolls Royce right there. One, one of these days, I'm gonna get that Rolls Royce. Alright guys, I am done uploading everything for that shoot from earlier, and now we are going to make some cold calls. Yes, cold calls. So, like I said earlier in the video, the goal right now is growth, just consistent growth. And with that, you gotta do things like emails, you gotta do cold calls, you gotta do your social media. We have social media down to like T and we're sending out emails pretty regularly, but right now I'm doing some cold calls. And so my strategy is everything over $750,000 as the list price, and then anything that's been on the market for 60 days or more. So I'm looking at that right now. I just pulled those up online, and I'm just gonna go through a list and let's see if we can book a shoot. Hi, Sheila with the Well, that one didn't work. All right, that one didn't work. I'm going to do is send a quick text and it says, hey Sheila, this is Alex Cerro from Coastal Injury Image. I saw your listing at blank has been on the market for a bit and wanted to reach out to see if there was anything I could do to help give you the marketing a boost. So sending, we'll see what she says. Doesn't hurt, let's just move on to the next one. Atomic Home Sales with Jennifer. How may I help you? Hey, Jennifer. My name is Alex Cerro. I'm with Coastal Luxury Image. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm just calling you because I was looking through the MLS and I just saw you have this beautiful listing at Antigua. And uh, I saw that it's just been sitting for a little bit and I was wondering if there was anything I could do to help you just boost that marketing a little bit. See if I could uh, maybe make a video for you or do a Matterport tour. Just something to help you out. Well, I already have a videographer doing videos on Friday. Do you? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, yeah. Well, I was just trying to call and introduce myself. <laughs> Is she the one who I did the photos? It. Just curious. Um, no, she actually did do the photos. The seller did the photos, and they wanted me to use their photos. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Give me. Um, if you could, do you have my email for me? Any uh, email for your information? Okay. Yeah, I would love to. I'll send it over to you right Perfect. now. That sounds awesome. Thank you. I All appreciate right. it. Thanks, Jennifer. Have a great rest of your night. Right. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Something. This is recording? Yeah, it's recording. I didn't book a shoot, guys. I just called three people. No, four people. And, uh, but I, I made some new contacts. Nobody was upset. I heard you laughing with some guy. Yeah, we had some laughs. That's we had good. some good times. That's good. This person is using somebody else. She's using Window Still. Okay. Which is interesting. Okay. Window Still, the like corporate company. Um, yeah, I would call more people, but I have to go. But I gotta go pick up a gas tank. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> so guys, even if your business is doing well, even if you are shooting every single day, that doesn't mean that you should stop your marketing. Keep going, keep cold calling, keep sending emails. What else, do you have anything else? It's all about relationships and building a personal connection with someone rather than trying to sell them all the time. He makes a good point. <laughs> Thanks. All right guys, I think that is literally it for this video. We did the shoot in the beginning, we uploaded some stuff, we called some people. There's a few other things going on, but I can't fit everything into one video, so. Vlog number one, complete. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.